wanted to uh, show uh, a demo of integrating Sean LeBron's uh, par infer system uh, with with Replete um, iOS app that lets you uh, do a closure script REPL right on your iOS app. Um, so so basically, Sean's uh, system is is a little bit like uh, par edit, uh, where it basically uh, manages the, the parentheses for you, if you will, while you're typing. But it does it in an interesting way where it kind of infers the closing braces for you. Um, and by just inferring things, you, you tend not to have to use keyboard shortcuts to, to, to basically barf and slurp and various things. So it took me a while to realize this, but I was thinking that this actually could be very good for this replete iOS app because on that iOS app, you don't really have a keyboard short shortcuts available um, and uh, we've thought about adding um, an extra row of keys to replete to basically make it so that you can you know have parentheses and braces right there easily and readily available for you but but porn for kind of takes uh, attacks this problem from the other end if you will you know it kind of reduces the need to to enter these extra these extra keystrokes uh, so I just wanted to give a demo of um, an effort that uh, is going on to, to kind of add this stuff to it. So, you know, as you're as you're typing, it it basically uh, maintains your uh, your parentheses for you. So, and this is actually on my iPhone. It's actually um, right here running, but I have it on the screen as well. Uh, so, let me try entering in. Um, I'm gonna subtract maybe from four the first of a, a vector where maybe the first elements I don't know six and some other symbol uh, and, and if I put something else in there it's like really easy to add and delete um, and maybe if I move my cursor over here let's see maybe put another number there I don't know um, so this experience uh, to me already I can kind of tell that it's a, a lot simpler than having to maintain all these extra parentheses and worry about where things are. I just can focus on entering in the form. Uh, so this is this is almost just like the first cut of it. One thing I need to work on is allowing multi-line forms. Um, as, as you in replete when you enter in forms into this little text box it grows and shrinks. Uh, so far I just have a, a single line form working. Uh, and another thing I'd like to say is how easy it was to, to integrate this stuff in. Um, here's a uh, Within the this is the uh, the closure script code that's inside a replete uh, that's that's running things and and I basically just had to add this one extra uh, export that's called from the Objective C side um, to basically call into Sean's format text um, routine and, and all I really had to do is pass in the the text of that form that's in that box and some hints telling it where the cursor is you can see I'm passing in a zero right now because I'm not doing multi line stuff yet but I basically pass in that text and that hint and it crunches on it and gives me back some text to replace that with and I just put that text right back in the UI and and uh, put the cursor back where it was in the UI and that's all there is to it. I mean it it really is that simple to integrate this stuff in. Um, when I looked at his web page it was kind of intimidating because it's doing lots of cool stuff. Uh, but for, for the simple uh, thing you saw there with Replete it's actually just that simple. Uh, so hopefully this will help make things better. Uh, I'm gonna try this out for a while and see if I if I like it and if it makes things a lot, lot smoother. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.